Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this exponential problem and find the value of x that will satisfy this equation. Now we have x raised to the power of x and this equals 44. This simply means we need to find a number that if we raise it to the power of itself, we are going to get 44. Now let's start with the smallest number. Maybe let's start with 2. If you have 2 power 2, this simply means 2 times 2, and this is 4. Let's proceed to 3. 3 power 3 simply means 3 times 3 times 3, which is what? 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 is lesser than 44. So let's proceed to 4 power 4. This means 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And this equals 4 times 4, 16. 4 times 4, 16. 16 times 16, 2, 5, 6. This number here is far greater than 44. So because of that, we need to limit this to between 3 power 3. That means 3 to higher should be 3.9. Because 4 is giving us 256. Now, let's consider 3.1. We raise it to the power of 3.1. This will give us, we have 33.36. Now, 33.36 is still smaller than 44. So, what do we do? Let's consider this one here. Let's consider 3.5 raised to the power of 3.5 and 3.5 raised to the power of 3.5 will give us 80.20 80.20 is still bigger than 44 so if you consider this testing it's going to take a whole lot of time for you to actually find that particular number that will satisfy that equation correctly and you might not have that kind of time you might not have that amount of time to be testing now is there any way of solving this particular equation without testing for the value of x that will satisfy it yes there is a way and what is that method of solving it without testing i'm going to show you step by step so stay tuned and let's solve this particular interesting equation. Now, look at it. We can start solving this problem by introducing natural log. We take the natural log of x power x, and this equals the natural log of 44. Now, according to this logarithm property, if you have log of a power b, this equals b times log of a. Remember, natural log is just logarithm with the base of e. So this same property here will hold right here. So this x will come behind this natural log. We are going to have x times natural log of x equals natural log of 44. Have you seen that? x times ln of x equals ln of 44. How are we going to solve this problem? Now, in order to solve this problem, we need to introduce this special function. And that function is called the Lambert W function. Lambert W function. So, list this Lambda W function simply means if you take the Lambda W function, which is denoted by W, and you have a function such as this a times e power of a, this equals a. That means the function that you are going to make use of this Lambda W function should be in this form of a times e power a. That function should be like this. You must manipulate it 
to be in this form. It must be in this form. A times e power a. And if you have it this form, that means you are going to have a out. The same way, if you have the lambda function of maybe a fan times e power a fan, you are going to have a fan. Have you seen it? So anything you have here, and that's the same here, and there's e here, you are going to have that thing out. Now we are going to make use of this special function right here. Now for us to make use of this function right here, we need to manipulate this x power ln of x to be in the form of a times e power e. So how are we going to achieve that? Look at it. e power ln of a equals a. Remember, e power ln is the same thing as 1. They will cancel out. So you have a left. So this x here, we can replace it with e power ln of x. And this is the same thing as x. Because e will eliminate this ln. So if that is the case, that means we are going to have e power ln of x times ln of x. And this equals ln of 44. Remember, the aim is to make it to be in this form. Now, According to this function, it is a before e power a. Here we have e power ln x, ln of x times ln of x. So we need to write this ln of x first. So we have ln of x times e power ln of x. We are just rearranging it. And this equals ln of 44. So if you observe this function, this is exactly in this form. Have you seen it? So, we can now take the lambda w function. So, we have lambda w function denoted with letter w of ln of x times e power ln of x. This equals the lambda w function of ln of 44. You take it here and you take it here. Have you seen that? Now, when you have it in this form, what you are going to get, remember, we said the lambda derivative function of a fan times e power a fan equals a fan. So what we are going to get here is simply ln of x. And this equals the lambda derivative function of ln of 44. Don't forget, we are solving for x. So how can we eliminate this ln? We introduce e and we have ln of x. And this equals e power lambda w function of ln of 44. We introduce e on both sides in order to eliminate this ln. e will eliminate ln. We have x equals e power lambda w function of ln of 44. Have you seen that? This is our x. You can leave your answer this way. This is absolutely very correct. Now, if you want to have a definite answer, this is what you need to do. You need to input this into a calculator. You have e power. You are not going to see this lambda wave function. Instead, what you are going to see is product log. You are going to see product lock. So lambda W function is the same thing as product lock. So you type in E power product lock of ln of 44. If you type in this into your calculator, you are going to have an approximate value of x that will satisfy that equation. And that value is 3.229. Now, if you want to check, Remember, we have x power x equals 44. If you input this value for x here, you have 3.229 power 3.229. This will give you an approximate value of 44. Showing you that the value that we got here 
is very correct. So this is how you are going to solve this problem without testing for different values of x. You simply make use of this Lambert W function and your problem will be solved. So that is it in this particular video. Thank you and goodbye.